Hey, what's going on guys? Cena Bix here and today we're going to talk about how to track your calories and macros. So, one question I get asked a lot is like, hey Cena, what do you do when you're dieting? What do you eat when you're dieting? And all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to just like make a video for all you guys who are wondering on whether or not you know me or off Instagram or anything or just watching this for the first time on how you should do that. So I'll just give you guys a rundown. So calories are basically energy. So your body uses calories to perform basic functions, right? Such as breathing, heart beating, uh, metabolism, everything your body functions, they, it requires calories. Now, uh, based on this, everyone has a different uh, maintenance or I should say, or calorie balance, right? So someone could eat 2000 calories and gain weight. Someone could eat 2000 calories and lose weight. It's all dependent on your age, weight, height, sex genetics right so that's basically it so don't copy me for example i'll show you how to figure it out for yourself so a few things you will need number one you need a calorie tracking app so apps like chronometer my fitness pal and a bunch of other ones have that second off you'll need a calculator now usually there are there's a formula uh, by it's uh, I'll uh, show you guys on screen and link in the description that shows you guys a rough estimate of what your calorie maintenance is based on the inputs you put in it like your age weight and height and sex that determines it step number three what you need to do is find figure out a diet that works for you that has a good amount of protein carbs and fats and follow it for a week with those calories, right? Let's say it's 2000 calories. You're gonna do like, I don't know, whatever amount of protein, whatever amount of carbs, whatever amount of fats. And you're gonna do it for a week straight without cheating. This is very important. If you go over by a few hundred calories or if you under eat or if you, for example, um, work out more that day, do more cardio that day, all these play into a factor on your how much weight you lose, gain, maintain, all that makes a difference, or right? your energy expenditure also makes a difference. On the calculator there, it shows, it asks you, hey, what's your activity level? So based on that, you can apply that to yourself. Um, if it asks you like, uh, do you have a very active job? So if you're in construction, you're probably moving around a lot and you're probably carrying heavy stuff around a lot and you're on your feet a lot and those burn more calories than just like sitting down, right? If you have an office job, you're just sitting down, you're not moving, that also plays into a factor. How many times you work out, that plays into a factor. How much cardio you do, all these play a factor. So what the best thing for you to do is, don't change anything in your lifestyle in terms of like, oh, uh, don't like, if you if you walk 10 minutes a day, don't change that. If you work this much, don't change that. Um, it should be, when it's constant, that way it can determine, you can determine it a lot easier without any fluctuations in the calories. So it comes with a lot of trial and error, essentially. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put your info into the calculator, figure it out, figure out if you're bulking, cutting, maintaining, whatever. Eat those calories based on a diet. Now that diet is completely dependent on you. I recommend a gram of protein per pound of body weight, having and then having the carbs and fats fall into place. So like one day you might be high carb, one day you might be low carb, and that's how you should determine it. Now, if you eat less carbs, you'll lose more water weight, and then you'll appear leaner and you'll think, oh, I lost this many, this much weight, but that usually isn't the case, which is why I say like keep a constant diet. That's probably the best thing. Have a certain amount of carbs you eat and a certain amount of fats. Usually I recommend fats kept about 50 grams for men. For females, I'm not too sure, but uh, for men, mostly 50 grams plus is good because your body requires that for the production of testosterone. So it's good for hormone, you need it for hormone balance, essentially. Going low on fats can uh, lower your testosterone and screw you over big time if it's done for a long period of time, obviously. And that's basically all you're going to do. You're going to stick to it for a week. And then once you do that, then you de you've determined, hey, did I gain weight? I ate too much. Did I lose weight? I ate too little. Then increase or decrease calories based on that. Keep in mind, 250 calories surplus or deficit will be half a pound. 500 calories surplus or deficit will be a pound a week of weight loss or gain. Uh, one uh, 750 so every 250 calories is half a pound gain or loss of weight usually usually that's how you determine it right that's the calculator at least from what scientists have figured out um, on that calculator it obviously shows you um, the one I use at least shows you exactly like hey if you eat this much you will lose this much weight if you eat this much you'll gain this much weight uh, so you can go more aggressive or less aggressive based on your goals and how much you can handle I recommend a pound of fat a week weight loss like a, a pound a week of weight loss to be very good 
and I'll, I will be making a meal right after this and I'll show you guys how I am tracking my stuff. Now keep in mind, um, they're not 100% accurate, but they're very close to being accurate. So trial and error, right? So let's get right into it. I'll see you guys at the kitchen and I'll prepare a meal for you guys and track it and everything and you guys will see how to do it. So here's the final result, the three slices of bread, three eggs, the sauce, the cheese, and the chocolate milk. So this is just an example of one of the meals I have. Um, I can afford the calories and distribute it within my diet and I'm perfectly fine. But if someone has this, for example, it might be their, like half the amount of calories for their entire day. You know, you never, obviously it won't be, it's like, it's not that much, but like it could be, right? One thing I will say, as you guys saw, I used the cooking spray and the reason I'm, I did that is because um, I didn't want the food to stick and also because if I were to do like coconut oil, right, straight up, it probably, I would have put too much. So the cooking spray really helps, only has five calories per half second and I'm not going to track five calories, I'm not like holding it for that long, so I'm fine. But um, if you really want to be crazy about it, you could, but I don't recommend doing it. You can breathe off five calories very easily just by sitting around. Um, and yeah, and the mushrooms, I don't calculate that either because it's just, it's not going to be that much. Once again, it's like mostly water, I think. So yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, I measured everything. And as you guys saw the bread on the, sh on the nutrition fact, it says per two slices, it's like however many grams. But then when I actually weighed it out, it was less than that. So if you really want, I recommend doing this if you're dieting is actually like weigh out the bread. It's not gonna be that much difference, like plus minus like five grams of difference. It's not gonna make that big of a difference, but like I, when I'm dieting, I track that stuff because when you're cutting, it really does matter. So as you guys just saw, we had three extra large eggs. We had three slices of bread. We had um, one serving of that uh, gochujang sauce and uh, 30 grams of that cheese with a cup of chocolate milk. Now you need to weigh it out, okay? <laughs> That's one thing people forget, you need to weigh it out. You need to hold yourself accountable. You can't just be like, oh, that looks like 30 grams. No, you have to actually measure it because that's the only way you'll be accurate and that's the only way you'll get results, okay? No one in the world, I've been dieting for, I've been on a, like I've been eating and tracking for four years and I still can't gauge what a tablespoon of peanut butter looks like. If you take a tablespoon of peanut butter normally and just scoop it, like a heaping scoop, you'd think that's one tablespoon, but that's like three, four servings. That's like four, four tablespoons, right? So you need to track it. You need to weigh it out. I beg of you. If you don't, you will not be optimally, uh, you'll not be optimally tracking, right? You don't know essentially. So hold yourself accountable and actually get to work. Trust me, it's worth it. You do it a couple of times, right? You get the hang of it, it becomes easy.
first time it's always hard if you don't know what you're doing but i hope this video has helped you out please let me know in the comment section below if you have tried this and it's worked for you and if it's helped i feel like a lot of people have struggled struggle with this and they're just either too lazy or they just don't know or they're just clueless and i hope this video has helped you guys out tremendously hope you guys make gains hope you guys get to your goals please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment turn on notifications for more posts coming soon i'm trying my best to make more informative content for people to watch because people all always ask me these kind of questions and they just don't know the answer and, if, and i want to help everyone out thank you so much peace out